Welcome everybody, welcome to the Tomb of Illumination where everything's explained in the way of physics, religion, cultural myths and legends, so-called myths and legends, their actual facts, physics encoded in the stories. Well today's video is about how the northern hemisphere stars are mirrored to the southern hemisphere. Okay? This is just one one example it's the most clearest because it's where the mirror where things fold and you can get the mirror effect and understand it clearly more clearly uh, using Orion's belt as the reference point okay so if you go out into the night sky at the moment these days you'll see Orion's belt try and catch it when it's at your zenith that makes it more um, understandable what I'm about to explain okay so down, down here in the northern hemisphere uh, I look towards the celestial equator and I'm seeing a bit of the northern hemisphere on the northern horizon and the southern rotation star rotation there's two star rotations you just have to believe me if you don't have a camera and don't do star trail photography or anything like that you need to listen to me I'm telling the truth okay if you did film in star trail photography you'd get a rotation like this and you'd get and, and if I swung around and looked south I'd get it on direct on my meridian north to south I'd get a, a full circular rotation something you cannot explain if you live on one spinning ball because I can instantly get the uh, full 360 circle, a rotation in the sky, even though your ball earth hasn't spun one degrees, okay? And at the same time, if I had another camera next to that doing time lapse on a star tracker, I can track a star in that rotation, slowly moving west out of that rotation. So that rotation is going 15 degrees per hour, and you know you only have to listen to this spinning ball bullshit they explain that circle right but how do they explain the other 15 degrees per hour the star moving this way because all the stars that move into this rotation are all moving out but you only get one image on your meridian your your arc of horizon in star trail photography you're getting all the stars in the rotation because that rotation is a mirrored effect from the northern rotation. So if you're direct north to south, you're getting a direct north to south mirrored rotation. Except those stars are only a slice of the pie from the northern circle. But it's, you've got a permanent circle because there's always a permanent rotation. The vortex back at the north is a reflection of the central northern rotation of creation. It's reflected up into the night sky. So there'll always be a circle because there's always a moving vortex back at the centre Arctic, unseen to man. We only see the nighttime image up in the sky. Well, that's reflected out to the south. But because the south is all around the north, we just get a slice of the pie. Okay? Because that image is reflecting an image out on everybody's meridian to the south. So they're all getting a slightly revolved image as the image turns around the earth but we all get one, we all get one on our horizon a rotation, a mirrored effect well if I, if I, I can video that in time, uh, star trail, get the circle but in time lapse with a camera right next to it I can follow one of those stars in there moving out of that rotation and track it all the way around to the west till it disappears you can't explain that on a ball. Two 15 degree per hour motions. So anyway, back to this. So if I'm looking to the celestial north, the accessory equator north, seeing Orion's belt at my zenith, I've got the south coming over in front of me a little bit. The rest is all behind me. This is how I see the stars. Sirius, uh, sorry, Regal and Sirius. They are blue, okay? And down on this side, because realize from the south, this side is the southern hemisphere. 
that swings over behind me. This is the dividing line, the street here. And that is all the northern hemisphere. So in the northern hemisphere we get beetle geese and elder baron as nice orangey red stars. Why is that? Because south is my, my hemisphere, they're blue, it's blue shift, close to me. That's further away in the northern hemisphere, that's red shift. Okay? Now what, what's happening is this is a mirror effect of the north. Okay? So we say Rigel, pronounce it Rigel, Sirius, Beetle Geese, pronounce Beetle Juice, Elder Baron. Okay, so that's what we see from the south. Now you've got to imagine that gets folded right at that line there, that crease, becomes a mirrored image on the southern hemisphere sky. See the northern hemisphere star rotations up there. That gets pulled down and put in the south like this. So basically, there's your north. It gets pulled down and put in the south like this. I had another drawing which shows um, how the northern hemisphere is anti-clockwise. But when you fold it and look at the reverse, it shows how the southern field becomes clockwise. Okay? You can probably see that in some earlier videos of mine. Okay, so that's what we see from the north. Uh, sorry, from the southern hemisphere looking north. Now, what are you seeing from the north? You're seeing half this on your horizon looking south, southern hemisphere, and this is coming over your head. So you're looking north to Orion's belt, okay? And what do you see? Well, our regal in the south becomes your beetle geese, beetle juice. And our Sirius in the north becomes your elder baron. They are both blue because they're in your hemisphere, blue shift. But in the southern hemisphere, the southern hemisphere elder baron becomes your Sirius. And our northern hemisphere, Sirius, becomes your elder baron. Sorry. Sorry, your, your regal, sorry, <laughs> down here. Your, uh, a northern hemisphere beetle juice becomes your regal. Okay? And to you, they are both red shifted. Because they are not in your hemisphere. It's very logical. Okay, this is another world first. This site's all about world first. This is where you learn the truth about everything. Understanding reality. Stepping out of the de de deception. Stepping out of the matrix to find the truth. You're living in a lie. From the day you started school, it's been lies, lies, lies. All your history is lies, lies, lies. But at the same time, you've got to imagine man's mind is very simple. Because for hundreds of years, they've never noticed this. Look at all the uh, astrophotographers on YouTube. Have they pointed to this? Have they pointed this out? No. They're very simple-minded. You think they're intelligent. On a level, they're intelligent. Because they know they're... They know how to operate stuff, but they don't know how to think. They can't think deep enough. Their brains don't work properly. But they do once they go through their second birth. That's what all religion's all about. It's describing the second birth. How it opens up your right hand side of the brain. God's on the right hand side. The wisdom, the knowledge comes from the right hand, right hemisphere of the brain. Well, I can expose all this stuff. Nobody else can do it. Well, nobody else is doing it. Okay? I get it. Concentrate on this, get a good look at that. There's the two images. From the south, Sirius and Regal. In the north, you've got Elder Baron and Beetle Geese.
blue shifted. In the south, red shifted. Very logical, easy to explain. I'll do this for you to make it even easier. You're looking south, so you are only seeing that on your horizon. That's your horizon. Forget that. There's your horizon looking south. And this is over here, so you're only you're really only seeing this part. That tucks back over your head. So there it is folks. Now you need to share this. You need to start waking up the zombies. YouTube's not getting my information out there, so it's up to you people to share the truth. If you're waking up or have woken up, you need to wake up the rest of the zombies. Because there's a movement. We're in the uh, sign of Aquarius now, where everything will be exposed. There will be nothing hidden. All rocks will be overturned. The truth is coming out. You only have to look at TikTok. Everything's being exposed. The moon hoax. <clears throat> Can't think of anything right now, but everything, everything. The whole pandemic. Um, what people can't touch on is the, uh, the Zionists. The Zionists rule the world, right? They run America. And you can't criticize the Zionists. Well, that's like any, what, you know, what we're told about communist countries. You can't, you can't go against the, uh, the, the narrative where you'll be locked up. Well, you can't talk about the, uh, can't talk about the Zionists, can't expose their lies. If you go deep and find out how, how the hell do you, do you gas six million people? Logically, use this side of your brain. Cannot be done, especially when there's no, nothing there to show any evidence. Okay, the buildings, graves, where are they? No, and it's been all scaled down now anyway. How did it get from here down to here? Think about it, it's time to wake up people. Join my Patreon site, you get, and join the community to um, understand all this truth basically. Thanks for watching. Put a likes up, don't forget to subscribe and share it. Cheers.